Hi, people. Thank you for coming on and watching our show. I'm Christy. I'm Shirley. And we're Geek Edge Chat. We're here to present to you our review of Hellbound, now on Netflix. Get it. Ooh, okay, so the plot is supernatural beings come to Earth. Uh, they make plot like prophecies, proclamations or whatever, prophecies I guess, and they're like, you're going to hell, and then these creatures come and they drag, well, violently people to hell. So that's basically what's happening. It's set in Korea, I think. Yes, it is. It's a Korean show. So let's get into it. This is like the opening <laughs> scene, so it's pretty intense right off the back. No, it's, it's crazy. I think when, you know, you don't know, like you've seen the trailers, if you see the trailers or whatever, you don't know what you're in for until that, like in that scene where the, the, the person is running and it's like, yo, I don't want to go. And it's like, what's going to happen to me? And it's just crazy. You don't expect the violence that these supernatural beings do to the people. Like legit violence where you're just like, oh, okay, whoa, that's a lot. That's too much, you know, like seriously, like I had to look away a lot of times. Yeah. And these creatures, although for me the CGI wasn't the best, they're still like scary. Mm -hmm. And they become a symbol, a symbol to this one gentleman who is, you know, becomes a leader of a religious group that he creates called the New Truth. It's a cult. It's well, <laughs> and he's, he's played by Yuang. <laughs> Who, who's also the main actor in the Netflix um, zombie Korean film, Alive. Alive. So it, that really one's good. really good, so check that one out. And he's really good in this one. Very creepy and scary and subtle, too. Like, I don't know. I can't oh, really describe it. Oh, yeah. Who's the creator again of the show? I totally, like, forgot. Oh, Yu Yong Sang-ho is yes. the director Yong who Sang also Ho. did... Oh, Train to Busan. And if you Which haven't seen like, Train to Busan... You have to see that. It's such a damn Yo, good movie. How exactly. have you not seen it? It's a zombie movie. But it's so much more than that. It's, it is so much more than that. Definitely. And if you're a horror fan, yeah. This is a movie that you should check out. So yeah, this is only season one. I mean, uh, there's gonna be, of course, the ending was shocking. The, there's one character in the beginning. Um... The mother, I forgot the actress's name. A uh, Kim Shing Yo. Yeah, Kim Shing Yo. Um, she's so good. Like she's she gets the um, I guess the proclamation or the um the prophecy thrown decree. on her. The, decree. Thank you. That's what decree. They That's what the they show. call it. Thank you. Uh, that she's going to hell in like a couple of days. Sometimes it's seconds for people and like instant or it takes years. It's it's crazy. It, um. I guess they'll explain that more in, in seasons, or they don't have to either, uh, what those supernatural beings are. She's, she's was my favorite, one of my favorite characters because she's just, you know, her, like, she's sinful, I guess, um, uh, whatever that means, <laughs> in, in a sense, uh, um, but you feel her love for her kids and, and how she just wants to protect them and, and truly feel sorry for what she did and, and, and you just, yeah, and, and there's a shocking twist, like I said, with her character in the end. And it's like, what? We did not see that coming. Right. I love the... I think, you, no, I, no. I'm like, oh my God, I'm ready for Hellbound Season 2. two yeah. Season 2, where are you at? Because I, I like, really want it now. This this is how I much did not see that coming. this show gives anxiety to me. I'm like, Yo, the I two had last episodes, I was like, oh, so much anxiety. Yes, the last two episodes, was I was good. like, all right, somebody please, like, do something ah it was crazy um, um the lawyer character um what is the actress's name oh man king K kim let me see i had it here that one i kind of slipped my mind king young ju king young ju king young ju uh is am i saying right? yeah. yeah uh sh she's so good like she's i guess the uh revolutionary i guess fighting against new truth in a sense of like fighting back of like all the stuff they do um and what they did to her like arrowhead is part of that group they're a violent group that you you truth you, new truth uses uh, she's so good like i thought at one point something happened to her character she wasn't like gonna come back but then it's like sorry spoiler but um yeah she's just she's a fighter man and she cares about the people she wants to help and 
and the kids that she wants to help. So she was my favorite character. I was like, I hope nothing better happen to her. I, I was like, I what think show? <laughs> she had the most development in the show. She did. She, she did. went from like a lawyer who really cared and was like kind of a little not too soft, but you know, yeah, not, yeah. not forthcoming and like tough and all that, to a very like mysterious, mm -hmm. like um, smart sneaky type of person with yeah. some kick-ass moves at the end. Yeah. So and she's very she trustworthy cool. of people, mm -hmm. which kind of backfires on her a little bit. But again, you know, that's going to happen when you want to trust people, right? Exactly. So, um, no, she was really good. There was one character, and I guess because there's going to be other seasons, hopefully, that didn't come back and we were like questioning like where is he at? It was the detective and the daughter um, storyline. Oh, yeah. Which we were like, what happened to that? I know, the detective <laughs> was very interesting and their storyline was very interesting yeah, but so, it kind of like just... So I'm assuming they're coming back for season two. I'm of hoping they're coming back for season because two. Because that was a thread that was not closed at all. Yeah. Um, again, the last episode with the ending, there's another shocking thing ending with like a, a character that's just like, what? Well, why? And why? What's going on? Like, aside from the mother character. So it was like, yeah, so the, I, I want a season two because it's just so much open still. Because New Truth is still around in the sense. Yeah. And if you guys like uh, the review, um, please like the video. And if you want to hear more reviews, TV reviews, or even book reviews, subscribe and click the bell and follow us. Um, we do our best to put up videos every week, so hope yes, you enjoy we... us, enjoy the video, and join us. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh. back, I just wanted to mention yeah. something else with Arrowhead. Like, I mm. think this show brilliantly shows kind of the kind of I don't even know how to like the the very underlining or very like people, mischievous way of how people manipulate religion and ooh, and yes, that's what cults I'm and and stuff like that and it does it does it so brilliantly I think because I've never really I've seen other movies and shows but I feel like the dialogue in this show is very interesting and captivating for me yeah and I think that you see, like, New Truth is one, the religious group that's mm -hmm. using the the creatures as um, a hold against the the world. Saying that it's God's will and power. It's God's will and power. Which, then, no, it's and, not. And then you shouldn't sin. Yeah. Mind you, they're committing all so many sins. They're, but, committing, they're and murderers, then, really. And then there's kind of like this other entity or this other group, I should say, that follows the 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 prophecies and also... The, the decree and all that and what do you call the their their policies or how you say it? <laughs> I forgot. I guess rules? No. Rules, yeah. No, they follow the new truth rules. They're called Arrowhead, but they're um, an extremist group who use violence strange. to enact what the new truth is speaking to the world. But also new truth uses them as And well. new truth in also the down uses low, them. In the down, down low. low. But um, Arrowhead is very much yeah. open. And they also show how the, these two groups manipulate police into doing what they... The government. Their bid. Institutions and yeah, stuff. Yeah, government and, institutions. And yeah, it show, they become that's what powerful. I want to bring up. Like, how it shows you how, again, like you said, how people will manipulate... Um, religion and, and, and the message and all that stuff to their own power to gaslight to to make people do these awful things to other human beings um, you know like what a cult will do and and say oh it's God's power when it's really just man-made rules that these people make mm -hmm. you know and they just like you know and how people will just believe anything they hear without doing the research or have an open mind and be like wait a second you know and, and just willingly believe people you know when yeah. they say oh yeah this is god's will so you know don't sin and you know you got to do this yeah. and like kill people really like the main because you're going against god's will it's it's crazy the because it's you know it happens in real life <laughs> <laughs> the main Sadly. theme Sadly. the sin the sin becomes the main theme of everything and it's just like how they use the, the people's sin to go against them and also their families yeah it's the most creepiest thing ever i this mm -hmm. show is like really new i mean i felt like it was kind of a new plot a new mm -hmm. story i should mm -hmm. say um of, because yeah, something interesting yeah because these supernatural beings 
they don't know what they are. They think it's, but it's because they say, oh, you're bound to hell. But it's like really like, that's the only thing they say. So it's like, is it really God's will? Is it not? Like, you don't know what they are because they're just deciding whoever that, you know, whoever could go to hell or wherever they're right. going. Like, okay, you could go. <laughs> and, and In a couple of seconds or years or days. Like, it's just... And it's because of one know. man who's played by Yu Ang who decided to say that these creatures are God's will. Yeah, and, basically. And, so and it's believing he just garnered so much attention him. and so much wealth from his followers. Mm -hmm. It's it's really creepy. It's, the show, it's scary it's as hell what people are willing to do to other people. It is scary. You know, when you watch horror movies, you're like, oh, Jason or Freddy or all that stuff. Like, oh, yeah, that's scary, natural, super natural beings. But then it's like well, human, human beings are really more scarier. And what they can do. Yeah. And what they can do. Exactly. I want to comment on the fact that the show is very, it's so funny. It's, I feel like it brings new twists and here and there, but it ends kind of, not completely ends, but kind of ends the, sh the show with a non-believer. A person who doesn't believe in yeah. God. And I thought that that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. That was definitely interesting. <laughs> and and it bringing in his perspective in like in just yes. a sentence. In just yeah. a sentence, really. Yeah. It was really... That really how, and... how it's our individual, um, I guess, acts, you know, yeah. that do these things and how we have to like... Yeah, that it, it wasn't God, but human. Yeah. Human nature, I guess. And Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... But that was interesting. Thank you so much. This has been fun. I have nothing else to say about this know, show a, other than go really watch got, it. Watch that show. Watch the show. Oh. It's on Netflix. Season yeah. one. Season Hell one. Down. All right. Um, definitely. Um, thank you for watching. And we got a couple of uh, reviews coming up. We I have an Asian drama review that I want to do. Hometown Cha Cha Cha. <laughs> That's my I'm going to do that. And then we have our Christmas show coming yeah, up. Yeah, we're reviewing a couple like Christmas movies. And Witcher like is coming up. Witcher season two. We definitely do a review for that. And at so the end of the month, Shirley has her book. Yes, it's review. coming back. My book wrap up reviews. Yeah. You prepared. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow us. Take care. Peace. Peace.